Hi everybody, it's Dr. Mora. I wanted to show people how I do a AC joint reconstruction on patients who have a chronic AC joint separation. So I created this diagram of a shoulder. Let me please give you some perspective. This is the scapula. This is the glenohumeral joint. This is the coracoid of the scapula. This is the acromion of the scapula and the clavicle. Uh, to give you perspective, this would be the, the patient's uh, sh uh, top of the shoulder, deltoid and arm, okay? and their neck would be over there. So um, when a patient sustains a AC joint separation, what happens is the clavicle is displaced upward like this. Usually, I usually see these patients uh, with a big bump on top of their shoulder. And why is the bump there? Because the clavicle is displaced upward and it's pushing up on the skin like this. And how did this happen? It happens after a fall these ligaments get torn, the AC joint ligament gets torn as well, the clavicle goes boom like this. Patients present with a big bump. In some cases it's not a big deal, but in, but in patients who are very slim, uh, the bump can actually show through their skin. Not only that, but when it's a high grade separation, the clavicle moves uh, in, in different planes and it's very uncomfortable for patients. So what do we do in cases of, in some cases of of a high grade separation such as a, t a grade five. Well, this is one of the many ways to reconstruct it. I do what's called an anatomic reconstruction, anatomic, because I'm reconstructing these two ligaments and placing them in an anatomic uh, uh, location and also reconstructing the acromioclavicular joint ligament uh, across the AC joint over here. Not only am I doing that, but I'm also placing a braid suture. How is this done? Uh, this is done like this. It's not arthroscopic, I make an incision in the front of the shoulder, usually it's right in the front of the shoulder like this, open, um, open the skin, go through the muscle, just split the muscle, feel the base of the coracoid. I take a graft, usually a semitendinosus, which I've colored blue, semitendinosus graft. This would be like the graft, it's usually just uh, a strip like this, and, I, and then I take my braid, put them together, and I pass them under the coracoid, so I get them under the coracoid, a lot easier said than done. It's actually quite difficult to do so, especially in very muscular people. Uh, uh, once I, I loop both structures through, or pass both structures, then I just then I reduce the clavicle, bring it down, line it up with the acromion, and I secure it with this braid. So the braid goes around the coracoid, around the back of the clavicle, and then I tie it. It will stay, and it holds the clavicle down. Uh, so that I can then do the anatomical reconstruction. Now, before I actually do the braid, I've already drilled my conoid tunnel, trapezoid tunnel, and the acromial tunnel. So this one is sort of on a, a somewhat oblique like this. These are through and through. But once I pass the tendon in the braid, I, I tie the braid down, clavicle is now held down, and then I take this limb of the graft and uh, pass it through the tunnel from under to over, and then I go through the acromial tunnel from over to under. And then instead of going under like this, I actually take the graft and go from above to below. And that way I have a nice hook type of configuration, which makes the, which holds the clavicle down even further. Very hard for the, for the clavicle to go, to, to push through that construct. And then finally, once I go through this, uh, through the trapezoid uh, tunnel, then I tie the graft to itself. So I basically take a bunch of sutures and tie it to itself. Now there is potential for this to stretch a little bit, but that is why the braid is there. The braid will not let this clavicle go up. And over time, what will happen is this limb and this limb will basically replace the conoid ligament and the trapezoid ligament, both of which are part of the CC ligaments or the coracoclavicular ligament complex here. And then these two strands, will recreate the acromioclavicular joint or acromioclavicular ligament that was also torn. So this is an anatomic AC joint reconstruction used for type 5 high-grade separations. It's an open procedure. The patient is placed in an arm sling for a few weeks and then allowed to move uh, and uh, use the arm gently, period. We, I don't want them to do too much because I don't want them to, to tear or to stretch or to uh, damage this uh, repair. Uh, so once again, anatomic AC joint reconstruction for high-grade uh, AC joint separations. This is Dr. Steve Mora. Thank you very much. Hope everybody's doing great. Thank you.